Hey guys, back with another video for my Eric blogging channel. So I have the MS Speed Active Edge and in this video I will be talking about how you can connect this watch with Strava and sync the workout data from the MS Speed Zap app. And obviously this watch comes with an automatic workout detection and it is very very easy to track workouts via this watch. And once you have tracked a workout, the data is really important but if you are using any type of other third party apps like Strava which is a really really good app you obviously want to transfer the data from the Amswit Zap app to Strava and sync the data continuously Definitely, this will be a very useful feature and people who are using any type of third party apps including Strava will be able to sync the data from the Amswit Zap app to the Strava app instantly so in this video we will see how we can connect the Zap app to Strava app and sync the workout data of MS Fit Active A smartwatch to the Strava app instantly. So as always this will be a sick video guys and if you are at any sense don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because I will be making more videos like this. So first of all the watch is a really good watch and it has got some really good features including the automatic workout detection and also the Zap app which is the official app for this watch has been updated and you can see new visual or new UI in this app which looks really good and it has some really good features. So to update the watch to the latest version you can just click on the system update and check this is the latest version which is running on this Amsfit Active Edge and to turn on the workout detection you just need to come to the device section and here you will get the option of device settings once you are there you just need to scroll down and you will get the workout option and obviously here you will get the workout detection and in the workout detection I will recommend you to click the category which you do every day and enable all the categories out here especially the working and running workouts and after you have done this you can also click the sensitivity and set it to standard so that it will only activate the workout detection mode when necessary and not activate it if you are not doing any workout by just moving the hand there so these settings you need to do first in order to get the workout data and once you have got the workout data you need to install the Strava app obviously first and the Strava app is a really good app which you can install and it also has a really good features like you can share your workout to other people and also there are other workout modes available in that app. Strava run bike and hike app is there in the play store obviously you need to install and open it once you open it you will be able to see the strava app has also changed a lot so what you want to do is come to this u option and here you will get the settings option and once you are in settings you will get this option of connect an app or device once you click on this you will get all the third party app integrations which you can do and obviously the MSV Zap is also there. I will directly go to the Zap app now and here you will get this icon on the top right corner. You have to click on that and you just need to make sure you are in this page where you will get your name and ID and once you are there you can see this third party account linking option. You have to click on that and the Strava option will be there. You have to click on here and it will directly go to the browser and open the app integration options with the Strava app. Make sure you are ticking these boxes and you just need to click on authorize option and it will be taking you to the authorization page. So once you click on authorize you have to again come to the Zap app and here you will see your name will be displayed and once it is displaying your name that means the connection is successful. Now whenever you will be doing a workout wearing this watch definitely the data will be updated to the zap app and it will get automatically synced with the strava app and from where you can check the data is if you come to this u section here you will get this activities section and the workout will be automatically updated with the map or the region data so this is a really good option you will be having here if you are using the strava app you can sync the data instantly from the amazfit zap app if you are using the amazfit activate and obviously you can 
post it to social media or comment on your workout also which is really really a good feature of this Strava app. So that's it guys I just want to show you about this feature with which you can connect the Strava app with the MSFit app and obviously sync your data with it. I hope you have liked this video. If you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because I will be making more videos like this. So thank you guys have a great day. Thank you.